Hi there, sign of Virgo. This is Kim here to do your reading for you guys for your next 48 hours. So thanks for joining me. Thanks for liking, sharing, subscribing. I appreciate all the support. Let's get right into your reading. I'm asking that your spirit guides and your angels join us as I get messages for the greatest. Greatest good, highest good, greatest good of all. Virgos, general messages. Everything's allowed. Intuitive reading too, not just the um, standard meaning. This is Dreamkeeper's Tarot. And we'll clarify with the original tarot. So using Dream Keepers. Give us general messages here for our signs in Virgo, please. I've broken nails, so I'm having to <laughs> do it a different way. It feels weird. Justice in the reverse is on the bottom. There's something that feels like it's an injustice or it feels like um, needs to be made right, right? Something needs to be made fair. Death and closure. That's crazy because I'll tell you, when I first started um, your reading, I had one that I was starting to um, record earlier, but a mistake and interrupted it and put it all the cards up. And I decided to use a different deck, but the, the death card has come out for both um, at the beginning, too, as your issue. And the hermit, we have the number nine is significant, too. It just is. Um, the hermit has to do, well, it's in the reverse, coming out of being kind of, well, it looks like in a cocoon, doing a major transformation, like been away um, transforming yourself. Three of Wands, now we're exciting, excitedly waiting for um, our ships to come in, possibly waiting for somebody to come back from a journey or voyage, or maybe going on a journey or voyage. Six of Cups is in the reverse. We'll talk about it. Seven of Wands is in the reverse. The Queen of Wands here, future energy. Nine of Wands is in the reverse. The Four of Pentacles, there's the scales. Felt like something has to be balanced and then so we got libra energy and we have the scales again um king of cups in the reverse some kind of injustice uh something is just making us really upset i don't know what this is but we will find out what this is there's um okay something to do with letting go and um I think that's why the number nine is coming in my head for you all, that there's a, an ending to accept, there's an ending to let go. Maybe it's an outcome to let go of. Either someone's going to make, either you're getting upset, or needing, um, needing to figure out, I guess, quite how you feel. Maybe it's just a very emotional time. What's the Six of Cups in the reverse? Could be in separation. Okay, that's what I was thinking. With the Hierophant, it's in reverse. I was feeling soulmate energy, but being separated, not being together. That might be the issue. That might be the main issue. Um, the Hermit in reverse is a challenge. I, I think you don't feel like yourself. Um... You feel like quitting something. Um, you feel like putting yourself back out there. Yes. Um, but you feel like quitting something. You feel like giving up the fight for something or someone here with the seven of ones in reverse too. I don't know why. There is something about being attached um, in some way. Maybe not so good being attached. Maybe not in a great way. Could be a Scorpio energy. This, this outcome could be... A person upset like if you are informing somebody that you are ending something and the challenge here being um, you reintegrating uh, in the two of swords a split possible possible that this person just is they lose their cool real real easy so you need to be careful too okay so what is this um, death energy talking about Wow there's the hermit so we have the hermit as the challenge in reverse. And then you have the hermit that just came out. Um, Virgo. Oh, man. Okay. 
there is something um, that you know. I'm going to even say there's something that only you know. Even me as a reader wouldn't be able to tell you much about this hermit energy because it's yours. It's specifically yours. I almost feel like this hermit card is telling us, yeah, this, this is what I really want. Um, and then looking back on this, like, oh, I've got to, I've got to put this stuff behind me in the past. So it's like putting a, a, putting a previous commitment, what you thought was a soulmate energy in the past. Or this is you going inside to find out how can we do something? How can we fix or mend family issues in a non-traditional way? Because this is calling for like a non-traditional time. It can be something like that too. This is doing your research with the hermit. Sometimes you could feel, I don't know. I, I'm not going to, sometimes you could be like alone while you're doing research or while you're just getting to know self-inquiry. But um, I don't feel this for you. I do feel like there's a challenge of not feeling like yourself. But I don't know necessarily if it's alone feeling. I wouldn't really say that. This is a really like bold, like out there. This is the opposite. Queen of Wands is the opposite of the hermit mode. She is right, like right out there. She's on a stage. She's putting on her persona. It's not necessarily a false mask. There's just a persona that the Queen of Wands has for work. And there is a persona that um, she has when she goes home. Okay, so Three of Wands, going on a journey. Look, Three of Cups is on the bottom of the celebration. You're going on a journey of celebration and abundance of what you're not putting energy into, which we're going to discuss and find out. But let's first find out about what is it that you are looking forward to coming in? What kind of ships are you expecting to come in? You know, what does that represent for this Three of Wands? What kind of ships are coming in for the Three of Wands? Empress energy. Mama energy. Ace of Cups in the reverse. Somebody might not be well received. Might be an Empress energy. I'm, I'm really thinking of that. Like, Or it might be talking about it because I can't I have looked at the you know silver lining of what the ace of cups could be in the past and I've always think well it could be just something that you've done once before so it might be a pregnancy like a second third child fourth child whatever um it might be a pregnancy it might be looking forward to um a pregnancy or something like that now this it also this could be somebody that's not being well received and it might be this empress energy trying to offer her cup, but but you're but you or someone is not taking it. Like a fish isn't biting. <laughs> Seven of Wands energy. New love. New passion. New, 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 new. These are like no more energy to put into those. So Ace of Wands is here and it says, no, come with me. We're going to start something new. And it's passion. It's a lot of passion. And, you know, with the Queen of Wands, it could be an Aries coming in or this could be... Um, so it could just be somebody that makes you feel energetic. Maybe it's that energy of really um, kind of like using your magic wand, maybe having some skills or talents or abilities. Usually she does, and her intuition is like um, very accurate. It could be very accurate anyway just because of this time with the planets and the alignment right now. Um, we have a Piscean influence. So let's see. Nine of Wands, which is essentially the same thing as not going after something anymore, not defending for someone anymore, not standing up for someone anymore, or not going after, yeah, not going after a situation because somebody either lied, cheated, or stole to, to you, um, or snuck around. Now, this is the you spot, so it could feel like you were in a situation where you felt like you had to sneak around because... This energy right here with the King of Cups in reverse is very controlling. And I'm going to tell you right now, you really have to be careful with this person's emotions. 
I mean, it's good just to get away from this energy, but if we're right next to it, um, you want to be careful and watch out. You want to watch out with it. Not that I see anything, but I'm just, just saying. Um, four of Pentacles is that you're attached to a situation that doesn't serve you anymore, and um, and and you're really not wanting to listen to what others have to say. But there is an energy of of a complete transformation here um, on your behalf. So. What is this Four of Pentacles about? What's the Four of Pentacles about? <laughs> the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Um, well, okay. About those scales. I'm not sure they're so balanced because here we have people not wanting to cooperate. I don't know why, but there's an energy of, like I said, somebody not being well received, but there's also an energy of not even wanting to try to cooperate or co collaborate. It's leaving you to your own. So maybe that's why we're not necessarily getting all the information we need. We come to a decision that we're split upon with the two swords, Libra energy too. And there is a decision that has to be made. The time is coming. No more waiting. Knight of Pentacle energy, so Virgo energy, right? But it's in reverse. That That is the clarifying card for the Two of Swords. What are you going to do about a decision maybe that somebody's waiting on about somebody that was not dependable for you, somebody that did not pull through for you? It could be the challenge, um, a fear or a hope. You know, it could be a hope to split from this person or it could be a fear to... Um, for that to happen, for somebody not to come through for you regarding money. What's this King of Cups in the reverse about? You know, you know, uh, feeling like this person makes you feel exposed. The High Priestess in reverse. There's something that we're not listening to our intuition about. There's a person that I feel is really unstable, and you kind of need to watch out for this person. It, they might just be somebody that hangs out with you in a group of friends. If you go out, if you party or anything, watch about being vulnerable in front of this person. You don't want to ever get taken advantage of. Um, listen to yourself here. And also know that high emotions, especially during times of celebration, can skew our intuition, really strong emotions. So there needs to be a balance if that's you and your energy. All right, Queen of Wands, here in the future, what are we doing with this energy? Oh my gosh, we are letting go of any past hurts or past things that we're clinging on to. And we're manifesting something really great and beautiful for ourselves here so you you have the magic you have the information now um all you need is yourself in this journey this metamorphosis this transformation that's all you need all right let's get the sacred spirit oracle and wrap up your reading thanks for joining me virgo i hope that helps you piscean energy really strong in your reading love and light the same thing that um taurus got Act in love and light. This card is about not having to um, take on the responsibility of someone else's decisions. So if somebody made a bad decision or messed up, it's not your responsibility to have to help this person out every time. Watch out who you are um, and, and uh, you know, lending your energy to or money to. Don't just hand out you know, uh, don't don't just think that you got to, we can't save everybody. <laughs> Also, um, love and light, we must focus on saving ourselves first. All right. So, celebration, fun, enjoyment, transformation, change. Maybe we can work on receiving somebody a little bit better in our collaboration abilities. The uh, magician here is, you are definitely going to manifest something pretty great, Virgo. So, let's get... Um, Angel number message, and let's close out your reading. Oh my gosh, there's three. There's the Empress energy. 
Oh, you're going to get news soon. I feel like a celebration here. Three, expression comes naturally to you. You are very skilled at communicating your thoughts through conversation and creative pursuits. You are able to get others on board with your ideas. I am charismatic. And that's what I've got for you. Sending you love and light.